It's time for another Anatomy of a Photo with All About the Waltons. In our first Anatomy of a Photo, we deduced how George Kennedy found himself on the set of the Waltons and stopped to take a photo with the Walton girls. A new behind the scenes photo surfaced recently that has grabbed our attention. So let's take a closer look and unravel the mystery of what it reveals. We know when this photo was taken because of a makeup effect on Richard Thomas's forehead. If you guessed the episode, The Thanksgiving Story, you'd be correct. This 10th episode from season two originally aired November 15, 1973. It's likely that this photo was taken in the mid to late summer when this episode was being filmed. Let's recap the events of that episode. John Boy is helping his daddy in the lumber mill, but the men are pushing the saw too hard and the belt breaks hitting John Boy in the head and knocking him unconscious. Meanwhile, his former bull, Jenny Pendleton, is expected back on the mountain to sell the family estate. So John Boy madly cleans the place for her return and is embarrassed to greet her with a face full of soot from the chimney. He then heads to Richmond to write his entrance exam to university, but his head injury is messing with his ability to focus, and he winds up in the hospital for tests. Next thing you know, he is scheduled for brain surgery, but all his mama is concerned about is whether he'll make it home for Thanksgiving dinner. John Boy first met Jenny in episode 17 of season 1, The Love Story, which aired 11 months earlier on January 18th of 1973. Out for a walk one night, he sees a light in the empty Pendleton home and discovers a beautiful girl hiding inside from her father who has remarried. She moves in with the Walton family while waiting for her father to arrive, and John Boy moves in on her. Jenny isn't ready to accept a new stepmother just yet, but when her father dies in an auto accident, Jenny goes into shock and the only one left to care for her is her new stepmother. The two lovebirds part ways as Jenny returns to the city to rebuild her life. Now back to the Thanksgiving story. Haven't we seen something like this before? Yes, we have. So John Boy does recover from surgery just in time to say farewell once again to Jenny Pendleton and for turkey dinner, much to his mama's relief. Now it turns out the actress who played Jenny Pendleton wasn't just acting in a whirlwind romance on screen, but Richard Thomas and Cyan Barbara Allen were also in a real-life whirlwind romance as well. For a brief period in the early 70s, they were the it couple and were the focus of gossip and interest in all the entertainment magazines, even making it onto the cover of the National Enquirer. And the young girl in the photo with Richard Thomas? This is Cyan Barbara's younger sister Meg, who was visiting the set while her older sister guest starred in this episode. So now that we know the when and the why of this image, we can also deduce the where. In the background, you can see a large sound stage with the number 25 on the wall. Richard and Meg are standing just in front of stage 26, which is where the interiors of the Waltons were filmed. The studio was known as the Burbank Studios, prior to it becoming known as the Warner Brothers Studio. Also visible to the right is a trailer that was used by the actors, maybe even Richard himself, as his personal trailer to rest between scenes that were being filmed. You can actually see actress Ellen Corby rehearsing her lines in her trailer here. The child actors also studied three hours a day in trailers located just outside the soundstage as well. Taking a bit of a tour of the studio lot, we can see where they filmed the scenes of Charlottesville, the Walton's Mountain Schoolhouse, Mrs. Brimmer's Boarding House, Rockfish, Drusilla's Pond and Verdi Grant Foster's House, as well as the location of the Walton House and Ike Godsey store. So this little girl grew up to be Meg Pokris, a published author of short fiction. And that is Anatomy of a Photo with All About the Waltons.